embrace risk and get yourself to take chances. And you <laughs> talked about in your book a couple of things, you know, deciding if the risk is worth it and the difference right. between a calculated and uncalculated risk. So sure. talk about that. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny. Um, there's a judging category of gymnastics that we call ROV, risk, originality, virtuosity. And, uh, and, and you have to fill those categories. And it's funny because as time went on in the, in the society that we live in, even the International Gymnastics Federation changed the word R to the, or the letter R to the letter C for courage, because risk sounds dangerous. Um, and really what I'm saying is uh, don't, don't do dangerous things. I never did. It wasn't dangerous for me to do a double toasting double back flip off the rings because I had done all the, the 95 progressions that lead up to that skill. It's risky or it's dangerous or it's reckless when, you, when you're not ready to do it and you think, oh, what the heck, here I go, I'm going for it. Well, that's crazy. Um, I never did that in, in gymnastics. Um, and so, so I have to be careful with the word risk and how we use it. But uh, I think to me, risk means pushing the envelope. Risk means pushing your boundaries. See, how, how much harder can I work? How much, how much farther can I go? And to me, that's risk. But when it comes to actually performing a skill in my sport, it doesn't mean just chucking the skill and letting go of the bar and going for it. It means doing all the progressions, and it might take a year, a year, uh, doing the right progressions before you ever go for that actual skill, you know, itself. And so um, I would prepare for the risky skills by making sure I did all the progressions leading up to it and taking advantage of the safety devices, whether it's a spotting belt or landing in a foam pit, all of those things, so that when the time comes to actually go for it, uh, I'm ready. And, and so then what is risky in other people's eyes, what is risky in the judge's eyes, what is risky in, in another athlete's eyes is not risky for me because I, I can do it. I, I figure out how to, to follow the progressions to, to earn the right to, to do it without putting myself in jeopardy. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.